All right, good afternoon and welcome to the Division of Employment Securities webinar on the North Carolina Unemployment Insurance Tax System, referred to as NC Suits. I'm Larry and I'll be serving as your moderator for today's session. Today's session will discuss how to upload wage reports using the ICESA or ICESA file format in NC Suits. By now, I hope that those of you on the webinar have visited our website or have signed into the new NC Suits tax system. Now, let's look at the agenda for today's short 30 minute program. We're gonna share some highlights of uploading files in this format, which will be followed by a demonstration. As you see on the agenda, we've allocated time at the end of our program for an interactive Q&A session with our subject matter experts. During this time, we encourage you to share your questions by typing them in the Q&A panel. Simply click on the three dots on the bottom right corner of your screen, then select Q&A to type in your questions. Please try and keep any question to today's topic. Any questions asked during the session that are not already on the website will be added to the NC Suits FAQ's webpage for future reference. Also, before we get started, we want you to know that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Before we begin the demonstration, let me highlight a few things that you need to know about uploading files in this format. First quarter 2024 reports will require a FEIN number in the employer record of ICESA format for validation. Different format than, it's a different format than previously used. CSV is the preferred format for large files. No punctuation or special characters are allowed. A submitter record and an employer record are required in the ICESA format. If you are not providing information in non-required fields, please leave the fields blank. First quarter 2024 reports are due by April 30th, 2024. To go over some of the steps for this process for file upload, and for the demonstration, I'm going to turn it over to Gina, our subject matter expert. Gina, when you're ready, take it away. Thank you, Larry. <clears throat> we want to um, help others understand the two step process in NC Suits for file upload. I will be demonstrating this in a few moments, but when a file is uploaded, there are several validations that are performed at different steps throughout the upload process during the upload after the file submission and during the processing of that file if the file is rejected during the upload step step <clears throat> the upload box will turn red this is when you're actually uploading that document click on the errors link because there will be a link that to determine the corrections needed and we have on our website at ds.nc.gov forward slash employers forward slash nc suits forward slash nc suits hyphen documents we have file upload error codes and you can see more about the error code that you get um, at that link now when if you are rejected at that um, moment you can correct it and then you upload it again and you do it as an original, it's not an amendment, it's not a supplemental, it's still an original report. Now, once the file is accepted for submission, you're gonna receive an email. This is gonna be your first of two emails. So this is just when you upload and hit submit, you'll get an email with the confirmation number. Understand that the confirmation number you get is gonna be the confirmation for this whole process of this particular file. So you're going to have that confirmation number in that e first email. Then NC Suits performs further validation and they do that determine if that can be processed and posted. And after that validation, you'll get a second email. It's going to have that same confirmation number and it's going to say whether it was successfully processed or rejected. And for agents that are sending up a file that has multiple employers, and um, file can be partially processed. So if you have an error in one part, but the other employer, if you have two employers, one has an error and one doesn't, it can process that one that does not have an error and reject the other. Next slide. 
If the files process successfully, you can then make payment. If the files rejected, corrections are going to be required. And you can see this in a couple places. It depends on at what level it's rejected. To review the file processing errors, you can choose your options uh, under your options, which is the far left, and I'll show you that. To go to reports, then you're going to have a drop down, and depending whether you're in the agent portal or an employer portal, it'll say agent file submission report or employer file submission report. You will then put in your confirmation number. And again, there are several places you can get this confirmation number. And I'll show you, it's going to be three, you're going to get it three different places. And you'll hit view. And when you get view, it's going to give you some error codes. And again, you can go to the same place I referenced before, and that is file processing error codes. So you're going to have upload error codes and processing error codes. And it'll give you a little bit more information. Um, make your necessary corrections and then upload the file again, again, as an original. And only the submit um, rejected file should be uploaded again. And now I'm going to do a demonstration for you of the upload process. And bear with me. I'm in the agent portal on the home page. And for agents, you're going to go to wage submission. You're going to hit submit wages and you're going to choose put in your email and choose the file type and again we have three file types but we're right now demonstrating the ICESA we have do have CSV EFW2 and, and ICESA you're going to choose your file that you're uploading and once you do that it's not uploaded you have to hit the upload button and once you hit the upload button, it's going to turn green or it's going to be red right here. And if it is green, you're good to go. If it's red, you'll have a little link and you can click it. And that's where we say you had your upload errors. And then if you do have red, you need to fix that file and upload again. But once you upload, you have it on green, you hit next. And check box and hit submit. Right there on that page, you have a confirmation number. So I told you there'll be three places to see that confirmation number. You'll get an email, email one or email two, both of them will have the same confirmation number, depending on how far you get in the process. You're gonna have a confirmation once you hit submit. Now, to see your file, and see your confirmation number, you can go to wage submission, file submission summary, hit search, and your confirmation number is also there. So on this particular one, I show that I was rejected. And if I click here, it's going to give me some reasons why. And for example, this one said that report of gross wages is less than the report of taxable wages paid. Gross wages count not be less than taxable wages. Excess wages reported is not equal to gross wages minus the taxable wages. Also, the e FEIN number does not match with the employer ID. That's the validation rule we've got in place. So again, I'm going to show you that. It shows me that the status was rejected. Both of them were rejected. Um, it, both employer records and all eight social security numbers associated with this file. And again, I can click on the confirmation number and it will show me the rejection. And if I click on that particular employer ID, it's going to show me some information about the employee records. And if you hit air, click on like error message, it'll bring the errors to the top. If you have a big file and you can see that one says the social security number is invalid. But also, if I go to my confirmation number 36687, I told you there's reports over here. I hit reports, agent file, 
put in my confirmation number and hit view. And it's going to tell me down here, what is the problem? Well, my FEIN does not match. I have some excess wage, gross wage errors. A social security number was rejected. And it's gonna tell me the line number associated and what record type. And just for you to see that type of file, I want to share that file. This is what that file looks like. And so I can go here and go to the particular record and the particular line to find out what line and what particular record had an issue. And you just to show you, we we do have again the upload issue. When you're uploading, you can have errors. When you submit, you may have an error because I want you to look at, <clears throat> excuse me, 36686, the whole thing was not, the whole thing was rejected. It wasn't employers rejected, it was the whole file. So there is no final record. Um, I had some problems with the layout. So it, it does not even give me a document to view for these. And in some instance, it does give you a document to view where you can actually see the file that you uploaded. But some also sometimes if you do 36686 and you go over here, if it doesn't get to a certain point in processing, it'll say confirmation does not confirmation number does not belong to this current agent because it didn't get to the third. We told you there were three places steps in validation. It never made it to that third step. So always remember in looking at your errors, you can go under options and reports. You can go to wage submission and file submission summary. And then you can look at your errors there, click on the confirmation number that can give you additional errors um, explanation. And then you can actually click on the employer ID to get individual social security number or employee errors. Okay, I'm gonna turn that back over to you, Larry. So on the DES website, there's two ways you can get to the NC Suits page currently. Under the employer's drop down, you'll see the NC Suits login. Um, and also here at the very bottom of the of the main uh, images here is the NC Suits uh, link here. But I'm going to go via the employer dropdown. And once you're on the NC Suits page, um, there's usually some announcements here. In this case, these were the four webinars we had between yesterday and today. Uh, we will generally put the latest webinars uh, here on this page. Um, but you also have a documents page an instructional videos and webinars page, and a frequently asked questions page. The documents page, Gina mentioned some of these uh, documents, but you have the guidance documents, QuickBook instructions, which were just updated uh, yesterday, uh, all sample files, and now you have file processing error code documents uh, for both agents and for employers. Um, you can also, um, as you will see on the instructional videos and webinars page, uh, we have all of our past webinars. Um, and we also show how to register for new employers or new agents. Um, and there are lots of agent and employer walkthrough videos. So how to navigate, how to maintain your contacts, uh, agent wages, file upload, essentially, Gina, that's almost essentially what you just kind of showed, right? For the employer, uh, for employers. Yes. So you've got some more specific walkthrough videos here on our video page. And our FAQ page is a little robust right now. There's a lot going on there. We've got some frequently asked questions. Um, uh, both uh, the main questions that you'll see, but also separated is uh, employer and FAQ questions. All of the information uh, that you need um, 
is on our website, des.nc.gov forward slash NC Suits. We also have an NC Suits technical assistance hotline, 919-296-1569. Again, 919-296-1569. A copy of this webinar will be uh, posted to our webinar page uh, by next week. So keep an eye out for that in case you want to watch it again. Um, this will bring our Q&A session to a close. As a reminder, visit our website to find a wealth of resources, including instructional videos for NC Suits. This webinar, along with others, again, will be added to our Suits page next week. Before we leave, we want to remind you that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Also note that information on topics regarding tax, registration, reporting, payments, and filing is based on current state law and subject to change. One last look for questions. I don't see any. So once again, thank you for your excellent questions and for dedicating your valuable time to join us for today's webinar. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to assisting you on your NC Suits journey. Thank you and have a great afternoon.